I got 14 grandkids. Oh my God. We formed a Brady Bunch, me and my wife. Greg Philpotts is all about family. I have a son that's 20 years old, and you know, we have a very good relationship. You know what I'm saying? He and his wife moved to Johnson County two years ago after she retired. You got your family and you know, you don't want to just check out of the picture, right? When it's something somebody could readily fix. For some of his time in North Carolina, Phil Potts has had issues. He says it's been five years of this. I have an annual allergy that comes around February. Sometimes it won't go away. You understand? I got to go find some Jamaican roots to drink, you know, anything just to knock the cough down. Last winter, it got worse during Thanksgiving, too. I was preparing a meal and, um, you know, standing in the kitchen and it just added itself to the ingredients. You could be anywhere. It could be on the airplane. It could be anywhere. You talk to somebody and this thing just drains right out of your face. He kept seeing doctors. The diagnoses ranged from allergies to bronchitis to pneumonia. All of them were wrong. In February, I got scared because, you know, I was up all night coughing. Finally, he went to Dr. Alfred Illoretta at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York. Quickly, they found the cerebrospinal fluid leak. Sometimes when you have this leakage of fluid from the brain, it can evolve into what we call an ascending inf infection. So infection can transmit or bacteria can transmit from the nose into the brain, resulting in meningitis. Those doctors did minimally invasive skull surgery using a flap of tissue harvested from Phil Potts's body to correct the problem and get Phil Potts back to his family. Do you ever been like so congested you can't breathe, all of a sudden you could breathe again? You know what a relief that was?